So let me introduce myself first. I'm Stimming, obviously. Uh, coming from Hamburg, I'm 27 years old. And um, first I'm going to show you my life set. Yeah, and I just start like yesterday what I did exactly. Um, there's no audio. That's not me. Is it me? No, it isn't me. That's me. Perfect. So I just play around a little bit and let, let us hear some music and then I show you what exactly I'm doing.
obviously not here to uh, party, so <coughs> okay, I'm, I'm trying to explain what I'm doing here. We have some legs on the... No, it's fine. Okay, um, when I'm playing live, I'm using Ableton, yeah, and I'm using Ableton as a um, really huge sampler, more or less. So all, all the audio information from the tracks I do in Cubase, I bounce, and I bounce them in four or five groups. So I got the bass group, as you see on the very left. Yeah, This is the bass, then I got one percussion group, I got one melody or main whatever group, and an FX thing. But all my, um, all the bass drum claps and hi-hats come from the Native Instruments machine, which you see here. And this machine has a really, really nice controller, which is this one. And it's uh, connected and integrated really, really, really nice. So I'm not getting paid from Native Instruments, but I really stand behind that. Before, before, before I was using Native Instruments machine, I had the Akai MPC 500. And I always got the problem that the MIDI clock is so unstable. I mean, it's not unstable, but it's not, not exactly tight. And I need, for my music, I, re I really need the tightness. And when I, s uh, when I press start, then it, needed, it needs like 10 milliseconds or something for the, for the APC to start also. And this is just not acceptable for me. And I always had the problems that my, that my uh, micro timing was kind of like whack. I, it, it just didn't work so well. So the bass. Oh, yeah, and <laughs> this is the Novation controller, the launch pad, yeah, which is um, built for, for, uh, for Ableton to control it. Anyone use, any one of you use it? Yeah. It's pretty cool, especially after the, uh, when, they, when they got this driver thing tight, then, it, then it's now, now it's working really good. And I can, like, when it's, when I have some music on, I can just, put it out and put it back in and here it is again and it works which is really 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 helpful for playing in a club okay on this little fader fox I got um, I got a, a filter for the main out as you hear now but not everything not every signal is going through that filter especially the bass is really uh, important not to go through that filter because then I, I can do stuff like that Some effects. Yeah, wh what what is it with the sound? With my, it's fine. I think I take it in my hand and I just relax a little bit and. Whoo. 
Okay. So I got two effects um, effects going on. One is the um, from from reactor is the space master, and I I run it with a three hundred eighty four thousand kilohertz sample rate, <laughs> which is a lot, and it it kills like thirty five percent of my CPU, but I think it just sounds better. This is one, one main tip for Ableton, if you're using Ableton, um, work with high, with high kilohertz frequencies. Yeah, so I'm, my, whole, my whole set is where the preferences, as you can see, I'm going with 96 um, kilohertz sample rate, and this makes a big difference in Ableton. Yeah, because I, I always felt like Ableton sounds kind of like glitchy, when in the details, and you, you don't have that if you go with high sample rates. So this is one main thing which you really have to keep in mind. Okay, this reactor, FX, is, uh, has a compressor afterwards, which you can see here. And this compressor is sidechain controlled by my machine signal. Which doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Because it's not on. Yeah, so if I, sorry, if I have, you know, you get it? This is um, very helpful for getting out of a break and then start in with the groove again. It just makes that nch, nch. obviously, yeah, that that pump pump in pump in stuff. 